This video is recorded at Fair Game. Fair Game is located in Downers Grove, Illinois. Please visit their website for more information, fairgamestore.com. Hello everyone, Casey and Levi here with the Brothers Dim with uh, a couple games from our local game store where we had 13 people turn out for a tournament um, showcasing the new Spark of Hope cards. Uh, that's right. and. Uh, here we have uh, Dan on the right, Pete on the left. Uh, great guys, great players. Uh, Dan on the right's a little rusty, so we'll see how this goes for him. He's running uh, Yoda, the new Yoda, and Ahsoka. And uh, Pete is running um, Django, new Django, and Snoke. That's right. And uh, so, as Levi mentioned, uh, Dan's been out of the game for a bit. Uh, he kind of left at Way of the Force, and I'm dragging him back in. So. He's uh, going to be playing uh, some new cards here he's never seen. We'll probably see a lot of that show up from the other side. Um, looks to me that Dan won the battlefield and chose uh, the hut, Obi's hut, for the shield generation. Uh, Pete is starting with a profitable connection uh, with uh, three resources. So that's yeah. going to help him out. So for those of you guys that don't know, uh, Yo new Yoda. So we got a binds there. Uh, New Yoda lets he has a plus three shield limit, which means he can start. He can get up to six shields, and he can block apprentice characters uh, if damage is thrown at them. So Ahsoka is the perfect match for that. Um, or what did uh, he just throw on there? I was curious. I was like, hard to see. Uh, oh, uh, van braces. He threw out some Mandalorian van braces. Um, so he paid a dollar. Uh, it's the first equipment that he put down. So. Maybe it's two dollars. Okay. Dan's popping, tapping binds, throwing down a uh, force pull, force pull, which is kind of amazing on Ahsoka. Right. Specialized force pull uh, allows you to activate an opponent and then resolve one of their uh, damage dice. Is it a character or I think just any dice, any dice against, against them. The uh, cool trick with Ahsoka, for those that don't know, is she. The, so the plan of the game is to roll her out. And we got a Donderbus over there with Pete. But you'd roll out Ahsoka, uh, and then when you roll out a Jedi, you can resolve one of Ahsoka's die. So the dream is to get Knighthood on Ahsoka, which gives her the Jedi title as well, which gives her basically fast hands. Pete comes in back. with uh, two direct, uh, two resource for a dollar, I think. Uh, one resource and uh, some more indirect. Yeah. Let's uh, play Knighthood on her. Play what? Knighthood. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's a new character only attached to her. Alright. All right. Dan uh, gets the Knighthood out. It's a pretty good starting mm -hmm. hand, so. Yeah, this, will, about. <laughs> this will force um, Pete to activate Snoke. And he does. And we get a two focus, which is excellent, and a two indirect. Not not bad over there, damage wise, money wise. Mm -hmm. I'd be okay with resolving everything the way I see it. Yeah, like, maybe you show it six indirect. Um, maybe that's just a one focus side, not the other two. Alright. Soka comes out. Plus two shields, one melee, and a dollar. Yeah, you can resolve what he wants. Because of Knighthood, he gets to instantly resolve. So, yep, you can go ahead and put on two shields. And if I was him, I'd be putting him on Yoda. Alright. So, Pete resolves for six and direct. We lose the three shields. And we're going to be putting three damage out. So, really enjoying the Spark of Hope stuff. Um, I think there's a lot of neat new interactions and the, all the tribal things that are coming into the game have really added a lot. Um, I'm really kind of excited that there aren't huge blowout cards other than some Characters. busted combos um, that hopefully FFG can get uh, in front of. Um, we'll see one of those later on in this tournament that's the droids, if you, if you can't guess. You can post um, restricted lists. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter too much. Alright, Yoda rolls out with a shield and some focus. 
Pete's gonna go ahead and use his double focus to run into four guns. In motive, calling ranged. So I'm gonna do power action, removing a shield. I'm gonna do four damage into Yoda. Alright, we picked it up. Alright. Um, Snoke, Django. Four damage. Yoda's hurt. Pretty good. Yeah. Seven damage on Yoda, round one. Pretty, pretty vicious. Even though I gotta say, I think the play is here to go after Ahsoka. Yeah. You wipe her out. You, want to measure your, uh, you know, a lot of the cheating goes away. He's got resources on her already. Um, I mean, especially with her with knighthood and pool. I, I I don't see. We got a new card here. <clears throat> Which lets, it lets you destroy support for nothing. For you take the indirect value on it. Yeah. So he he got rid of the it binds and uh, took an indirect for it. Not uh, sure. Not sure about that. Dan plays R2, rolls him out, gets the one melee. Okay, mm -hmm. double focus on Yoda. Taking it to the three melee, plus two for Ahsoka. Um, so we're looking at six melee. And we're going to go ahead and put it into Django. One shield, five on top. Alright, that's the end of round one. Yeah, end of round one. Uh, I gotta say, pizza head. A little bit. Yeah. Just damage, in the damage race, anyway. So as mentioned, Dan's a little rusty. He's going around uh, just relearning some cards. So they were chatting about Snoke's power action and, and the errata that it faced. Django, I get one back. All right, Pete's paying one, putting armor plating on Django, and he'll get a dollar back because of Django's cool ass power. All right, each equipment on this character does not count toward its upgrade limit. After you play equipment on this character for the first time each round, you may gain one resource. All right, so we we've, we've got a Loth Cat Wolf or Loth Wolf Bond anyway, <laughs> uh, giving them both a shield and letting him activate all his characters. So he did activate Yoda first, um, which would matter if Ahsoka didn't have Knighthood. Well, they're simultaneous, isn't it simultaneous? You still choose who's activating first. Oh, okay, if I would have activated So he's showing one, two, there's four, five, six damage. Six damage on the board. All right, chatting about the activation order. Um, so, Dan still gets to resolve one of Ahsoka's die because of Knighthood. But if he didn't have Knighthood, he would not be able to do this. So, lesson for all you people out there. Oh, he took the dollar. He's got plans. Okay. So, armor plating uh, lets you block two damage. Um, pretty, pretty good for a dollar. Um... Okay. I like Pete's board state. He's got the equipment on one side of the character and the weapons on the other. Alright. How you doing? So you Dad's just gonna pump the six into uh, Django, I imagine. Oh. All right. So Pete's asking for clarification on how the order of the uh, you know, the order of the resolves are going to happen, so he can block it with the armor armor plating. I'll resolve these two. Okay. All right. That's the way he should. So, okay. So he's hitting it up for three, one, and a plus two. One damage goes on. The other three. Blocks two, mm. one goes on. So Django's got seven damage. Seven of eleven. Oh, All right, here comes Django. Single disrupt, single dollar, single shield, and one melee. Yeah, well, I want to apologize to you guys about the quality of the video here. I think it looks pretty good, but we were fighting the sun. Um, 
so there is some glare and uh, some fuzziness, but I uh, hope you guys don't mind. Also, oh, sorry, uh, Snoke just rolled out with a focus and a blank. I also wanted to just say that uh, this is the first time Levi and I have done voiceover for our channel on these, so hope we're somewhat entertaining here. <laughs> Alright, we got an R2 special, um, which lets you turn a die and draw a card. So much damage is here to have right now. Seven? Seven. Oh, into a dollar. What's he want over there? What's he got over there? Honestly, if he can load up Ahsoka, uh, he's gonna, he might be in good shape, because uh, Pete seems uh, completely unconcerned with her. <laughs> right. Just worrying about getting Yoda off the board. And Yoda's awesome. But, yeah, he's yeah. awesome. Soka just needs some black sided uh, upgrade die to make her worthwhile. Uh, what I mean by that is like some black melee damage sides. She's only got one. So let's beguile. Kit, what do you reroll? Reroll. No, you know what? That's not the Vam braces. That's the uh, jetpack. Mandalorian jetpack. Gotcha. He's going to. Uh... Beguile. Alright. So we roll the jetpack. Comes up the shield. Like the character die. And remove. The other character die. I'm going to remove three yellow dice and do three damage to Yoda. All right, uh, so that was a fight dirty play for a dollar. Removing three die, doing three damage. I'm, I, I don't mind having damage from hand, but that's a kill move for me. Not, I mean, I would pitch that to re-roll before I let those three die go to one damage piece. But yeah. that's me. Yeah, it's hard to. It costs one. Costs one. Yeah. I mean, it's a great kill from hand when you're not expecting it. Yeah. But just to put three damage on the character, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Okay. All right. All right. So it looks like we're restarting the hand, and Dan Dan's gonna leave Dan a claimed he claimed, oh, he claimed yeah. Okay. So he left a dollar. So yeah, we had 13 people show up for this tournament uh, for Standard, and there were 8 people drafting uh, for Spark of Hope. So we had a great turnout at the store. It's a good store. A lot of competition there. Yeah, Wednesday night. Yeah. People come to win. Yeah, that's no, no joke. He, uh, Dan just clarifying on uh, the order of activation here to make sure he gets to do the Ahsoka thing. Oh, here comes Ahsoka and gets the pull. The dream. The dream. So I was going to activate Django, and he'll be able to resolve one of these die against him. Uh, comes up with the two. So we got a blank, a shield, a one melee, or I'm sorry, a one gun and a two gun, and pushes the two gun into Django. Did he take the, yeah, he took the damage. So Django's at nine. One damage to do three. He'll go ahead and drop Yoda here. Oh, no. He got the shield. So right, one shield. One yeah. health remaining. One health left on Yoda. Yep. Yeah. So, Django's only got one hit point left himself. I feel like if he could get Django off the board here before any of those other dice could activate, Dan's in a pretty good place with a naked snow. Oh. Got the bounty mask. Cost zero, so it gains a dollar for it, and it adds a hit point to Django. A lot of durability over there. Yeah. Somehow. All right, so uh, Yoda rolled a dollar and a double focus, and we've got two dollars on Ahsoka's die. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So how much health does he have now? Turned into two and three. Two more health. Two more health. Two plus two. That's like you gotta assume risky he can control. Right. He's got money. He's got money. He's got, got at least three cards in hand. Three yeah. cards. So he did turn to the plus two. 
which is way overkill for Jango. Mm. So arm to the teeth, uh, you can remove upgrades and deal that much damage. So drop Yoda, yeah. lose the base side, three damage. That hurts. Um, well, comes up with a special on R two. That's that's not done. Card in a turn. Could still get Django off the board here. Oh, shield shows up. So Django has effectively three hit points right now. So uh, Ahsoka could kill him. Oh, he's got a shield deck. Okay. And then he's got the plus one. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right. Draw a card. Turn die. Yeah. All right. So we have death on the board, unless Pete can control it. And it looks like we're going to pay two and back death for two health. Can't drop this guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a good move by Pete. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like so, that card with Django quite a bit. Yeah. Right, we had a little cursing going on. <laughs> All right. All right. So he hits him for three, bringing Django back to ten. Uh, still has two hit points left. It's pretty. Pretty uh, sorry, tough keywords? Django over there. For no, just the keywords. <sighs> All right, so Snow comes in, two indirected, single focus. <laughs> okay. Discipline mind away, the indirect. I think Dan just asked if uh, uh, Snoke is a Jedi, so we're going to have to talk about that later. <laughs> he's been out of the game for a long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's going to play him, take the shield. <laughs> is that the shit? That's what he asked. I was going to let it go. <laughs> nah, everyone saw it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, resetting, getting ready for, uh, I believe, round four, but it could be five. I haven't been tracking. All right. Dan needs to collect his money. That might be the mistake of the game. He's still... He's deciding what to throw out before he redraws. He decided to keep Yoda's saber and let go of Rey's. Alright, action on Dan. Probably gonna throw out that saber. He's got time here. Alright. He does throw it out. That's uh, Yoda's saber, I believe. Yeah. Yep. If I'm Pete, I'm rolling out. Probably just, well, probably activating. Yeah. I don't want Django to die on his own die again. You know? Well, yeah, well, you, want to, you want to be able to snoke him. What do you play? He got another bounty mask, so he has 13 hit points. So he's got three hit points left. Jeez. All right, here comes Ahsoka. Let's see if we can get the dream roll again. And see that pull. Alright. He does not. It's plus two shields. He's got, he's got the uh, Yoda Saber special, one dollar, and two indirect on the force pull. So Yoda special is an uh, unblockable damage, uh, or you can remove a shield to do two unblockable damage. So not enough to kill Django, which is unfortunate. Yeah, not a great roll. I'm still resolving that special if I'm Dan. Let me ask you something. Does unblockable damage not gonna get back. go through any of right. that stuff? No, right? That's, that's, that's just it gives him hit points. Yeah. Yes. Got it. 
Yeah. Dan's just clarifying if the unblockable damage will go through the masks that he has on, the bounty helmets, uh, and it basically does means like uh, riot shields will have no effect. Yep. The Mandalorian armor will have no effect. That makes sense. Shields have no effect. What we didn't tell you is that uh, the subheader for this uh, game tournament was bring the busiest game mats you can. <laughs> I like dance. <laughs> Let's do it like that. So we'll do two damage. No, we move a shield. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, to do two. Oh, okay. resolve the Yoda special um, with uh, Ahsoka's in there in action. So Django's got one hit point left, but that's all he needs. All right. So we have an override. Um, getting in the Cutlass, losing the jetpack uh, for two bucks. A Cutlass, one of my favorite weapons on a yellow character. Yeah, uh, Cutlass is awesome. I I can't roll it. I always yeah. roll the worst side every time. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> two blanks and two indirect. Uh, again, apologize for the glare. Definitely uh, work, got worse there for him. Yeah. Uh, Alright, Django comes in with a two gun, a single gun, a blank on the fiber cutlass, blank on the fiber yeah. cutlass. But, I'm gonna go ahead and discipline mine. Uh, the two, uh, and Pete will probably Snoke. Well, do you Snoke here? Uh, he can't. Well, he's at. Well, he only has one hit point left. It would kill Django, and therefore not allow the oh, Snoke oh, to happen. Absolutely. Dead before the bullet left the <laughs> barrel. All right. So uh, Snoke rolled a dollar and a disrupt, and uh, R two D two just came out with a dollar. So uh, Dan's just looking for a damage. Um, uh, Pete re rolls into double focus, double disrupt, and a single melee, and a blank on uh, on Snoke's character. Now. That double focus is going to do wonders. So that five broke up. Dan has a chance for a reroll here, but the problem is, is that he only has one black side. He has two black sides, effectively, one on each of the Ahsoka die, but it's going to be hard to find the damage he needs here, I think. Yeah, I think Dan's in, a, in trouble. He just ditched a pacify. Makes sense. Rerolls into uh, a plus two melee side, a blank, uh, R2 special, and a uh, single pool, disrupt. The pull special. Oh, is it the pull special? Yeah. Oh, that's useless. It is useless. So this is going to hurt. He's going to go ahead and uh, do the 4 for 1, 4 for free, because the Bible Cutlass, and probably 2 uh, indirect. indirect. So, 7 damage. Uh, which will leave Ahsoka with 2 health remaining. Uh, as she has a shield. Okay. Uh, wh wh I'm sorry, why would you die? Because if you do damage to the chat about Snoke's power damage? action and how he can't do it to Django. Uh, is that the situation in one of your battles? Uh, Snoke thing. So I can't do the Snoke to power up. I think Dan's probably just asking about the uh, lore of uh, Jedi in general. <laughs> trying to figure what, out what, what is the what Star is, Wars all about. What? what what's <laughs> all, are there wars? <laughs> In space? Which one? The other one? The this one? Alright, we have a reroll. No, no, no. I, no, I, uh, I the glare I makes that a little tough. I missed. And, and you already yeah, I can't see what. Um, okay. So we're going to do five damage. Okay, it's a dollar on the pool, a blank, a plus two, and a Yoda special. Yoda special looks good. Okay, five, five into Ahsoka. Oh, so okay. Ahsoka's in trouble. All right, so five. Dan forgot to remove a shield. Yeah, you got a shield, Dan. See the shield. Pete's gonna let that happen. See the shield. Come on, oh, Pete. There oh. it is. He sees it. Oh, all right. Okay. Soka's got four health left. We got a, a turn here with uh, Yoda. I'm sorry, R2. So we're gonna probably turn to the one black side here. Two coming in, right? 
And uh, he drew a card, and I saw it was a Taru Strike, which isn't going to help much. All right. Uh, Forsaken. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah. Dan cannot find this damage. He's going to take two more um, from this uh, indirect. He could claim for the shield. Feel like he feels he's up against it. Take yeah. the dollar. I would have claimed the shield on that one. Two indirect. So put the soak with two health left. Uh, it should be seven, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So two damage. Two direct. Two direct. So. Okay. Okay. Dan just added an extra damage for for no reason. Uh, Pete trying to tell him that he's wrong, and Dan saying, "No, I'm. You can have that free damage." <laughs> I think Dan just might be interested in ending this game. I, you know, I think he's. Uh, in all fairness, I mean, Dan, Dan's a wonderful player. He's just been out of the game a long time, and I think he's, you know, playing against a strong deck, and he's maybe a bit flustered. All right, so really, Osoka should have two health left and a shield, but we're looking at one health and one shield. Yeah. So how much health does he have? One. Mm, it's not, uh, yeah, okay. So if I think if I'm Dan, I'm rolling out. Ahsoka. Oh, yeah. You can get that special. Yeah, if that special shows up, you might have a chance. Um, it did not show up, and... Well, he does have the plus two. So he got a plus two, uh, plus two shield, a melee and a blank. He goes ahead and resolves uh, killing Django and redeploying the Cutlass. Which is not good. No, not with a character with the focus that Snoke has. And all the money in the world to pay for it. Mm -hmm. uh, Django's deck over there has been pretty wealthy. He's got another cutlass in his hand, that, and it uh, looks like a dagger of mortis. Um, uh, there's a was that a prey of fun? No, it was that, that he's one. Where he's you definitely got move. another cutlass, right? Yeah, but he won't be able to pay for it. He buys it. He rolls into a resource, uh, single disrupted, two shields, two shields. <laughs> on that cutlass. He says, I swear this cutlass dies. Or okay, so Pete's looking at a fight dirty over there, so he could remove the yellow die to do a damage, but he needs two. Really, he needs three, but we're playing it the way it is. Alright, we got a conflicted play. Okay, got a damage. So and he got the base side. So Pete takes two, uh, leaving Snoke with nine health. Totally doable. <laughs> got to re-roll, and there's the four for one. That should do it. Can Dan control it? Maybe. Damage. Alright, you got the motive. So it's 50 50. Mm. The melee. Oh, there's that died. Well, yep. I'm you. See, I don't have that problem with it. <laughs> you will now. I got you the magic fingers. I got the magic fingers. Alright, reroll on Pete's side. Uh, $2 and 2 disrupt. These guys are just rolling blanks at each other. Got a shield. Discard to reroll coming up. Oh, no. Paying four. Uh, okay. I guess he feels like he can pay, he can take a dollar to pay for the side it might hit on with snow. Yes. It seems like I, I, he needs the dice. I don't understand that plan. Yeah, I don't. I don't There's play no an upgrade in the that. middle of a round. I think Pete's uh, effectively playing with his food. Okay, so uh, Dan's gonna counter that with an upgrade play. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can play an upgrade. I can play an upgrade. <laughs> uh, he's gonna override. Uh, he's contemplating what to override. Hope it's not knighthood. I don't do that. Overwrite the saber. I'd, I'd overwrite pool, I think. Uh, oh yeah, because uh, 
Well, again, does pool? Can you resolve upgrade dice against an opponent? With pool, yes. Oh, okay, well then. Well, that's true. I'm, so maybe it's the Yoda Saber, like you're saying. Yeah. Um, but OB Saber, it doesn't. It's not the best upgrade. Uh, it's only got one black side again. So I, I can understand Dan wanting to keep a black side out with uh, Yoda Saber, too. So he does overwrite pool, but he decided to go ahead and pay $3 for it. So instead of paying just the dollar, Dan is yep. helping Pete out. All right. And, uh, Pete did a full reroll and represents six damage, but without the money. No money to pay for the. Oh, he's got the. You know, he's resolved the dollar side. That should do it. Why am I not And so, I think Dan had a pacify over on his side of the table. He could have. But I guess it wouldn't matter. There was not enough damage. No, he's got the two indirect come in. All right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that was. Uh, uh, that was. That was fine. That was game one. Uh, like I said, we had 13 uh, players at this tournament. We went through three rounds. This is game one. We'll go on to game two here. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.